Tragedy strikes in Iraq ahead of the Arabian Gulf Cup final in Basra. We speak to analysts to find out what this week's brotherly meeting between GCC leaders in Abu Dhabi meant. Here's how you can keep a special memento of your World Cup experience. And finally, you won't guess how many people watch the 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Fatalities have been reported in Basra after a stampede broke out outside a stadium in the southern city. Initial counts said at least one person was killed with tens more injured when mass crowds flocked to the Basra International Stadium. Scenes from the site showed football fans scrambling to help others that were crushed hours before kickoff. Thousands of fans had gone to the stadium up to 7 to 10 hours before the match between Iraq and Oman, with footage that emerged online showing a full stadium at 12 in the afternoon. The game will go ahead as scheduled. Over in the UAE, a meeting between Qatar's emir and regional leaders has been described by analysts as a signal of warming ties. Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani met with the Emirati, Bahraini and Egyptian leaders in Abu Dhabi for a quote brotherly meeting. He was then pictured shaking hands with Bahrain's King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the second such meeting since the region's worst political crisis. Analysts who spoke to Doha News said this was more than just a photo op and shows ties with Bahrain could finally catch up with other GCC states. Now, if you attended the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, then this one's for you. FIFA says you can now print souvenir tickets for every match you attended at the showpiece event. Matchgoers can log into FIFA's official ticketing website and buy the tickets for the price of 10 Qatari rials per ticket. And on that note, a whopping 1.4 billion people watched the final between Argentina and France. This adds to a list of record-breaking numbers for the 2022 edition of the World Cup. FIFA said 5 billion people from around the world engaged with the historic tournament, including 811 million people who engaged with its various channels. That's five times more than Russia's edition in 2018. For the entire list of broken records, head over to our website. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website, www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.